The next thing that I want to show you guys is some features on MBEQ. MBEQ was specifically designed for the workflow that I have developed, which is solely based around moving quickly. A lot of people have, who get MBEQ tend to stay in the mode where they live with training wheels on. You can see when you pull up MBEQ on my computer, there are no training wheels. That's because I know the quick keys. I came up with them. The first thing that I'm going to do is solo this bass. And I think that bass sounds great, but I feel like I could use a little bit more note definition. So I'm going to hold down what we call three finger click, which is control option command. And I'm just going to add a new band with a little bit of, t you know, high mid range right around 2K. And that's great, but I want this to be wider. I'm going to hold down option and go ahead and increase the cue. And that's wonderful, but now I want to get rid of all of the stuff that's way at the top. Just none of that really needs to be in this bass for me. So I'm going to create a new band and I'm going to hold down option and command and I'm going to just click through until I have a low pass filter. Drag that down a little bit. The next thing that I want to do is there's something over here in the low mid range that's just a little bit wooly sounding to me. So I'm going to go try and find that and uh, see if I can deal with it a little bit. This is the frequency I want to get rid of. It's 300 hertz, you know, pretty common thing to pull up somewhere between 250 and 500, but I don't want to get rid of a ton of it. And this is going to be a fine tuning sort of thing. So I'm going to alternate between shift and option to pull down this particular frequency while also changing the cue on the band. So first I'll start with shift to pull down the frequency and then I'll switch over to option to quickly adjust the cue and then back and forth with my level. Okay, so that's sounding pretty good to me. Let's throw that back in the mix and see how it holds up. So now I'm just, I'm gonna wanna add just a little bit of lows. And since this kind of sounds pretty modern, I want this bass to live below this kick drum. I'm actually gonna go as low as 30. You can see if you look down here to quickly reference, I've got 10, I've got 20, I've got 30. I know where that's living and I don't want a lot. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a boost at 30. And that's really, really great. I think that's a wonderful sound. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to drive this input control, which is the input to the sauce control. Currently, right now, sauce is on, which means that there is a model of our 1960s Pi consoles going in the background of this EQ. And I want to bring that to life a little bit by driving this. When that happens, you'll see that the output fader comes down in correspondence. So you can actually level match pretty well. And you can hear, if I go up about here, I, I start to, you know, really push that into distortion. Which isn't what I particularly want for this song. I want to live right below that. That's a little bit much. Oh, still a little bit heavy. Let's... And I'll turn that off so you can hear it. And you can hear it's a much, much cleaner sounding bass without that. But it's harmonically rich and very warm with it. So I'm gonna leave sauce on. I think that's the vibe. So just to show everyone what's going on, we've got MBEQ on our bass, we've got parallel one on our kick drum, we've got parallel one and two on our snare drum, and we've got parallel three and four across the whole drum bus, as well as the Sontek on the master. So I'm going to turn off all the MB plugins and play the mix for you. We'll start off by turning off all these guys and turn off this one.
and again with the plugins on. Sounds pretty good to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask away. Thank you.